What is it about Pennywise that resonates and really freaks out audiences, do you think? Well, it's the, his ability to incarnate in, in your worst fear. Uh, so that, that has a, you know, a, a very gripping element with, with people in general. Um, so it, I think it's a, it, it, the character itself is a metaphor of, of anything that is scary for you. Um, not to mention that he takes the shape of a clown, which is generally uh, is, is, is a happy figure for many people. But on the other side, is uh, there's uh, there's there's a lot of people that are scared of clowns, and so yeah, that's it. Cool. A lot of people know? are scared of clowns because of Pennywise too. Um. Well, so. Speaking of that, like, how did you prepare with uh, the actor Bill Skarsgård to kind of like transform into this? Well, character? he we had like long sessions uh, of talking about what the character was. Uh, I gave him my all, everything that I wanted from the character, uh, and we started building conversation from there. Uh, m my relationship with him was 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 fantastic, and we had a very collaborative uh, experience together. Uh, it was a, like a feedback situation where you know he would build on things that I would say, and and then I would you know uh, come back with something, and but mainly what 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 we we all ag we we both agreed on was that Pennywise should be should in 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 one part be true to the essence of 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 the of the book of the character in the book, and on the other and on the other hand. Have some edge uh, for you know for newer audiences to to react to him, and mainly uh, that this new horror would come from his unpre unpredictability as a trait of his of his character. Mm -hmm. And I think you know from the beginning when Bill started the process, he always brought something completely fresh and new. He was not trying to honor or emulate, you know, the past. Uh, Tim Curry is exceptional and fantastic, and he's in, in everybody's mind. Um, but, you know, Bill very much came in, in the same page that Andy was of let's do something new, and he did. Cool. Um, well, tell me about how did the, the the actors in the Loser Club, you know, how did they react when they first were on set with Pennywise? Were they freaked out as you had hoped? How did that go? Yeah, well, that was a little master, that, that reaction. I wanted to capture the, the a fresh reaction of the losers, of the actors, when they see Pennywise for the first time. So I tried to keep them apart uh, for as long as possible. Uh, they met each other at the, at the, uh, the uh, table read for the first time. But Bill wasn't in character or in makeup or anything. Um, so it wasn't until two months, like around two months later, that Pennywise, uh, that Bill finally showed up as Pennywise, and and the first, you know, the first reactions to that were were pretty, pretty awesome. Um, you know, the Losers Club has a lot of young, fresh faces. What was your favorite part about working with such a diverse group of talent? It was amazing. It was amazing <laughs> because, you know, it's uh, each of these kids is amazing in its own way. I, I was looking for, for actors who, who shared the, the D, DNA of the characters, and, and it, was, it was a tough uh, search, but eventually they, they surfaced one by one, and, and ultimately, you know, I put them together in a room, and I and I noticed that the, the chemistry was was incredible. Um, then that chemistry basically magnified when 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 they all got together uh, before the shoot, and they they actually bonded as a as a real group. That's cool. Maybe you could answer this one. Is um, you know, what are some of the challenges of working with like such a an ensemble of characters, and how did what did you guys do to overcome those challenges? Well, you know, it's always a challenge to work with children. Um, we got extremely lucky. Uh, we cast, um, Andy calls them Ferraris because, I mean, they are not only, they are incredible human beings in their own right, but they're 
at the top, at the top of their game being 12, 13, 14. Um, so in the sense of human factor, we got, you know, so lucky. But, you know, there's the restrictions that come with working um, with children and at the same time, working with Pennywise, who requires, you know, at least three hours in a makeup chair. So it was, you know, musical chairs every day. Uh, but everybody was so in love with the project and collaborative that, you know, everybody chipped in and, and helped Andy make it happen. So. Cool. Well, what drew you to this story? What drew you to it? Well, the book. <laughs> my experience in you know, reading it, basically my, my emotional experience uh, reading the book at, at 14 years old, uh, added to my general devotion to Stephen King, and he's my literary hero. Uh, so when the, the, the opportunity came up and the, the, you know, the project opened, I, I didn't have any, any doubts. Yeah. Um, why did you decide to set the movie in the 80s as opposed to the 50s when the novel's set? It's more relatable. Um, as, a, as a filmmaker, uh, it's, it's, the, the, it's, it's good to, to, you know, to basically dig into your personal experiences. And, and I grew up in the 80s. Uh, I could relate more to the characters and the, and the events. Um, Stephen King wrote this and uh, 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 he's basically described his childhood in the 50s. Uh, I wasn't born in the 50s. <laughs> so I think it's, you know, when you're reimagining a, 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 a story like this, uh, it's good to, to pour some of your own experience in it. Um, more than just being scared, what do you want audiences to take away from, from the movie yet? Uh, I want them to be moved and have fun and, and also, you know, make a time travel to their child, childhood. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. it. Um, and then in, this is for both of you, in one word, describe working on it. Only one word? You can, or have a three. Once in a lifetime. Yeah, a thrill ride. Cool. Yeah. Good. Good.